I never had realistic goals. My goals were always insane. It was like I wanted to make movies. So I always figured it was making movies or flipping burgers or something like that. My parents had HBO when I was a kid, so I remember like Star Wars, uh, the first Star Wars watched a lot. Uh, and then my, when I was a little bit older, my dad had a huge beta collection. Nate had a bulletin board too, and it's why we just would cut images out that we liked from movies or like people that we thought were cool and we put them on the bulletin board. And Nicholson was definitely prominently featured because of all those movies he made in the 70s. I remember when I was nine or 10 trying to write like an adaptation of Lord of the Rings. And then in high school, I wrote Samantha's Crying which uh, Nate and I tried to shoot. They did an article about it for us. And I mean, that was the first thing I optioned uh, to like a Hollywood company. It took 10 years. Once I moved out there, it took 10 years to get a movie made. And they do say, it's kind of a rule of thumb, like in LA, that it takes in 10 years to get anywhere in the business. So I guess that's right. But I mean, you know, it's not easy. It's really difficult to, to try to do this. I started to get actors attached to scripts that I had written. Uh, I optioned a couple things. You know, people would tell you, oh, this is a great script. And so, you know, it gave you kind of the fire to keep going. And that's the thing, I guess, I guess my whole MO or what I'm trying to do is like write great roles for actors, because if you can get the actors, that's how you get movies made. <laughs>